Hello everyone, and welcome to part uh, 4 of Laravel 11 series. Okay, let's let me open here. Okay, so we will continue integrating the admin panel template uh, for our Laravel e commerce website that we are creating with Laravel and MongoDB. And and uh, in the last video, we have also done uh, we have some uh, we have done some kind of integration uh, admin panel integration, and we will continue working in this, in, in this video as well. But at the end of this video, we can able to see the dashboard page that we have seen in HTML. Uh, we have seen in the HTML, uh, the, and we are going to integrate it and we'll able to open it like admin slash dashboard. Okay, so uh, right now 404 page is coming, but we are going to integrate this dashboard uh, to our admin panel. Okay, so let's start. So first thing is that. Uh, see these are the files that we are working on in the last video and uh, we are going to uh, first correct its path okay we are going to add uh, the asset i am going to open here i will show you that we are going to add uh, this asset uh, with css js and images uh, and along with that we are going to correct its path as well okay so we are going to do that so see here like here i'm going to add it uh, a set okay and after that we need to make sure that uh, see it is located inside the admin admin will come here then plugins then it's fine after that we are required to close this one like this and we will uh, do it like this and once again uh, this one i'm going to include with all like here uh, and here also i'm going to close this one like this and let's come here and uh, here also we're going to add but here is no dast is not there admin slash js okay and we can check it like this also we'll go in our folder st docs project 11 and public and admin and then uh, js okay we can check it like this admin slash js so the path is like this admin js then admin lte then we are going to do it like this okay so once again uh, uh, this one we are going to add this uh, here for plugins and going to add it like this and uh, here also we are going to add but here inside admin then js we are going to remove this one and then and once again we will add this admin then js and this one okay like, like this we will update the path for all with a set and here as well uh, so here as well we're going to update admin plugins then uh, this one is detect pass so nothing to do here we will add the admin css nothing else required okay so uh, we are going to check in the dashboard as well if uh, there are any images or path so for images we can search it like this uh, maybe the img uh, because there we have seen that uh, at many places it's there okay so this one we have actually put inside the images folder we can check it once uh, here go back and check in images folder that we have this one default 150 into 150 yes so here as well we will uh, just make it update admin inside admin then images okay so this one will not come and then images will come here admin images then this one okay we are going to add it like this like this we are going to check that if there is any other image and footer uh, nothing in footer and header we are going to check uh, yeah here it's the images here admin then images and then we are going to close it after that uh, let's see if there is any other image yes here it is so once again we will add it like this so 
so what we can do we can directly do it for all okay no only one is here so otherwise we can also directly do it for all okay okay so it's fine also open the sidebar and see here also uh, now we can do one thing i'm going to select both and uh, we'll add for both here image this and but here we need to do manually like this okay so now after making these edits we are going to create the admin controller now okay and we'll create the route as well but first of all we are going to create the admin controller and before creating the admin controller there is one more thing we are going to create here uh, we will create here inside app http then controllers here we are going to create the two folder one for the admin and one for the front okay so right now i'm going to create for the admin only and inside admin we are going to create the admin controller okay so we are going to uh, run one command here for our folder okay this is our project 11 folder we are going to cr create the controller inside our project okay php addition make controller and that controller uh, we are going to add inside the admin okay admin slash admin controller and we are going to see the admin control sorry i think we have given here the wrong path i'm going to remove see the arrow here the slash here slash uh, we are going to use this slash instead of this one okay now it must create inside the admin folder yes it gets created inside the admin uh, folder okay so it's the admin controller now we are going to open the admin controller here admin controller and here uh, we are going to create the function but first of all we are going to create uh, the route uh, here we are going to create uh, the route here and uh, see uh, we are going to create the at dashboard route uh, but we are going to create it inside the uh, we are going to create one group and inside that we are going to create its route uh, otherwise we need to add the its full path and we are going to create the route like uh, with the new syntax okay like get post and after that we are going to name it like dashboard uh, it, it will be admin slash dashboard okay and uh, we are going to add it like admin controller class uh, and after this we are going to add here we are going to name uh, the function here dashboard dashboard function we are going to create inside admin controller like this okay so this is the route but here we need to add the full path so be better we will create here prefix and also it will help this admin uh, so what i'm going to do here here i'm going to add here route prefix we are going to prefix the admin with all the routes for the admin routes okay and also namespace for namespace uh, we are going to add here that this controller exists in which path otherwise we need to add here com the complete path that we are adding here that is the app http controllers and then admin okay so here add group function like this and this one we are going to add inside this like this okay so uh now what we are going to do we are going to create the dashboard function inside admin controller here oh, sorry. 
पब्लिक फंक्शन डैशबोर्ड सो हियर रिटर्न व्यू इन साइड एडमिन इट इज लोकेटेड डैशबोर्ड डॉट बेड डॉट पी एच पी इज लोकेटेड इन साइड एडमिन सो वी विल एड इट लाइक दिस ओके सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू रन अवर प्रोजेक्ट लेट सी दैट इफ वी एबल टू रन इट और नॉट सी आई एम गोइंग टू रिफ्रेश इट ओके सो दैट इज नॉट रनिंग अर्लियर सो लेट सी नो स्टिल इट इज नॉट रनिंग सो वी नीड टू मेक श्योर दैट वी आर रनिंग अवर प्रोजेक्ट सी वी आर नॉट रनिंग पी एच पी आर्टिसन सर ओके सो टू रन अवर प्रोजेक्ट सो नाउ इट्स रनिंग द प्रोजेक्ट इज रनिंग नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू रन दिस एज वेल एंड विल सी स्टिल इट इज नॉट रनिंग बट फर्स्ट वी नीड टू मेक श्योर द प्रोजेक्ट इज रनिंग इट इज रनिंग बट ओके इट इज शोइंग सम काइंड ऑफ एरर uh so it means that uh, it is having some kind of error with the sessions so we need to drop this one we need to drop this collection sessions we will add it later on if we require we are going to uh, drop this collection right now and now it is running fine okay so now uh, i am going to open the admin slash dashboard but this one is not running and we are going to see why it is not running here in web.php file here see multiple admin we have added so that's why so i will uh, remove this one and now i'm going to try to run once again and will refresh here and now this time it is running but it is saying the target class admin controller does not exist uh, now we are going to see uh, why this error it is showing uh, so actually this error is showing because uh, we need to add its class at the top as well we need to include the class okay so that's why this error is coming so what i'm going to do i'm going to include this class its class at the top okay use app http controllers admin and after that admin controller okay so i'm going to include this at the top and now i'm going to refresh it and see it's now working but its css and js is not coming we need to correct its path as well let's see uh, we will check here that uh, why this so much issue is coming and uh, the best way is we can check in the uh, here in the source as well view source okay so uh, okay so i got it uh, because uh, we need to include uh, see the in dashboard we have not included the admin layout okay so that's why uh, it is not working we need to include the admin layout uh, so this is the reason uh, that uh, it is not working uh, so here uh, we are going to add the admin layout so here we will add its syntax extends admin layout dot layout okay and this section content this is the syntax that we are required to add and here and section so now we are going to check once again and we'll see uh see here admin layouts header not found so we are going to see what error it is admin layouts header header is already there uh, so what is the issue here admin layout header not found this one it is saying so maybe spelling and make sure everything must be correct here admin layouts header uh, okay it must be inside admin then layouts so uh, check what path we have given uh, the name of layout i think there is issue with the layout admin layout it is layout and what we have given here the wrong one layout it must be layout only so that's why uh, see here layout okay and uh, let's check there here as well if you follow this one then it must be 
find in there as well in, in instruction and in instruction also I'm going to remove this S okay and make sure that you will just create the layout folder not layouts and see it is fine layout folder okay so now uh, we are going to check once again that if it is fine or not let's refresh it and yes now we able to see the dashboard same uh, like uh, this one this one is static and this one in dynamic okay that is located inside inside our laravel website this is the laravel page laravel dashboard laravel admin panel page okay and this one is the simple html page okay so both look same okay almost same so it is working fine now we able to create the dashboard page for our admin and in the next video we are going to create the login page for our admin as well and after that we will work on the admin auth guard and we'll try to log in as well then we will use the mongodb in mongodb we will create the admins collection as well okay so still the many things we are going to uh, uh, do okay so stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye